Hi, I'm Enchanting Nubianette. Welcome back. If you're viewing my channel for the first time, welcome. In a tragic incident that has shocked the Corsicana Independent School District in Texas, an assistant principal with over 30 years of experience has been left blind in one eye after being struck by a student with a hanger. The assistant principal, Kendra Rogers, is known for her dedication and long-standing service in education. She was injured while managing a student who required behavioral intervention. The incident occurred during a routine school day when the assistant principal was attempting to de-escalate a situation involving this student who had a history of behavioral challenges. The student, in a moment of agitation, struck the assistant principal in the face with the hanger, causing a severe injury to one of her eyes. And despite immediate medical attention, the injury resulted in Kendra Rogers losing vision in that eye. At this time, I believe it's still in the healing phase, though, so there may be just maybe a miracle. Maybe there's a chance of some of her vision returning. I definitely hope so. And it's devastating, this experience for any educator who is working with students, doing your very best. Now, adjusting to vision loss in one eye, of course, is a challenging experience. And this blindness requires significant changes to Kanja Rogers' daily life and routines. As we know, a person who is recently has become blind in one eye will need to adapt to a reduced field of vision and depth perception. It'll be making her everyday tasks like driving, reading, navigating crowded spaces so much more difficult. Kendra Rogers may experience difficulty judging distances, which can affect her activities like pouring liquids, walking downstairs, and reaching for objects. Additionally, this recently independent woman will need to relearn visual scanning techniques to compensate for the blind side, ensuring that she doesn't miss important details within her environment. One of the most or the major changes in Kendra Rogers' life are the emotional adjust adjustments her feelings. She's going to be going through so many different feelings. These are essential when adapting to her new reality. Of course, there's going to be times when she's feeling frustration and loss. Going forward, Kendra will need consistent support from vision, rehabilitation services, occupational therapy, and a strong support network of her family and friends. All of these factors are crucial in helping someone adapt to their new circumstances and regain independence. Now, before I continue, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Going back to the main news story, the student involved in the incident had been identified as needing significant behavioral management support all along. This tragic event has highlighted the difficulties and dangers that all educators often face when working with students who have behavioral issues. Another key point is the importance of having adequate training and resources to manage these situations effectively and safely. And I'm going to point out what Ms. Rogers had said regarding her school district. Now, because of the incident, there has been an outcry from the community and educators calling for the accountability for all parties involved. Many people believe that the parents should take greater responsibility for addressing their children's behavioral issues, especially when behaviors lead to serious harm or injury. And I am in favor of the parents being held accountable, plus the school. The loss of vision suffered by the assistant principal has sparked broader conversation about the roles and responsibilities of the parents, educators, and school districts, ensuring that every single person is in a safe learning environment. 
Now, in response to the incident, there have been recommendations to increase the number of support staff present during crisis prevention, intervention, CPI or quality behavioral solutions, QBS training sessions. These programs are designed to equip educational staff with the skills needed to manage challenging behaviors in a safe and effective manner. Education experts suggest that having four to five trained support staff members in these classes could provide safer environment for the students and educators, reducing the likelihood of similar incidents in the future. Now it's horrible that the assistant principal has lost her vision. Imagine if he were to if he had attacked other students. So many people could have been in jeopardy. And as a Corsicana Independent School District and the broader educational community grasp the impact of this tragic event, there is a renewed focus on improving safety protocols and ensuring that all staff are adequately prepared to handle behavioral crisis. Kandra Rogers, loss of vision is a blatant reminder of the real dangers that educated educators can face in their line of duty and the urgent need for comprehensive support systems in all schools. Ms. Rogers says underfunded schools are part of the problem and that Governor Greg Abbott is culpable for her injury as well. And I truly believe that there is a need for more robust behavior management strategies, better support for educators, and a call for accountability from everyone involved to prevent more tragedies from occurring in the future again. What are your opinions about this event or this incident, I should say? It's so unfortunate. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a million for watching. Stay safe wherever you are.